Hey guys, it's Cher and I'm really excited because today I'm going to be opening up my first ever Ipsy bag on this channel. I've never had any type of makeup or scent or hair product or just beauty subscription before where different packages of items are delivered to your house every month. I've never been subscribed to one before, but thanks to my fiance, this was a birthday gift. So every single month I will have an Ipsy bag to open and try out different products for on my channel. Well, every single month until he eventually decides to cancel it. So if I play my cards right, then that will hopefully be for the rest of my life. So let's open it. First of all, I love the foil packaging, the hot pink foil. It's really loud. Before I open this, I did go ahead and take the beauty quiz that they give you online on their website. I'm sure that everyone already knows about Ipsy, but basically you take a little quiz and fill out like kind of like a survey on what different types of makeup that you like the most and the products that you would prefer to get every month and the different brands that you like, what your skin color is, what your hair color is, I think, or maybe it was just your eye color. Anyway, you fill out a bunch of stuff about yourself and that information is what they base what products they send you on. Oh my God, it comes in a cute little bag. I didn't know that. This is so cute. I always need new makeup bags because I have so much makeup and I don't have anywhere to put it all. I think this is May's Ipsy bag. Yeah, my birthday's in May, but I wasn't sure. It didn't come, well, yeah, it's still May, okay. Yeah, this is the May Ipsy bag. The first thing that came out of the package was this blush brush. If I'm remembering correctly, I did mark that I wanted to receive makeup application products because I always need new brushes. I feel like I go through them really quickly and I never have enough without having to like clean them all the time. So I did mark that I wanted to receive those more often rather than less often. So that's probably why they sent me a brush if this is one of the five products, I think. I think they send you five products. I guess I should have done my research on this before I turned the camera on. So like I said, this is a blush brush. I have makeup on my arm, ignore that. It has this like really pretty rose gold handle. And it's just a fluffy blush brush. Pretty self-explanatory. It's by a brand called Cheek, C-H-I-Q-U-E. Never heard of that, but okay. Let's see what's in the actual bag. So I think that this was one of the products because there's four products in the actual bag itself so that equals five <laughs> that equals five okay let's see first thing is oh okay i've actually never tried this brand before i've never tried anything from this brand it's the pixie by petra brand it's called the endless silky eye pen i think it's just an eye pencil and it's in the color black okay cool most of the time when i do liner i typically use eyeliner pens so this will be nice to have because I genuinely don't have many eyeliner pencils right now. I feel like I've gone through them all and then I've just never rebought them. Not because I don't like them, but because honestly they are easier to smudge out than felt tip eyeliner is. Yeah, I will use this for sure. The next thing is, this is from Neogen Dermology. Neogen Dermology. Yeah, I've never heard of that brand either, but it is Canadian Clay Pore Cleanser. The Canadian glacial clay but it doesn't come from canada it's made in korea next is this i'm not sure what this is because it doesn't have like a name to it but it's from naked cosmetics so i know that much and it's in the color naturally nude um it looks like some type of either lip pot or eyeshadow pot maybe oh and it's it's definitely powder okay it's powder it's like this shimmery powder I think that's probably multi-use like it could probably be for eyeshadow I think it could also be used for highlighter it's very shimmery it's a very pretty color there's definitely some small particles of glitter in it as well so far I've gotten four products from brands that I've never tried before so that's pretty cool the last product is oh my gosh okay so I'm really really excited now because the last product was not only from Buxom which is a brand that I really like and that I actually had tried before but it is my absolute favorite plumping lip gloss ever if you don't believe me you can go back through all of my videos ever and I consistently talk about how much I love the Buxom plumping lip gloss lip polishes they're really good quality I really love every single shade I've ever tried and this is actually one that I have not tried before it's in the color Claire but it looks like a shimmery pink color 
like just in case people don't believe me I have so many full-sized buxom lip products it's not even funny so the usual size is 4.45 milliliters and then the mini size that they sent me which is adorable by the way is two milliliters so oh really so it's like half almost so it's like a little less than half the product of what they usually give in the full size product like i said it's just like a really pretty shimmery pink and i can't wait to see what it looks like on because obviously that's typically the colors that i gravitate towards anyway is the lighter pinks and mauve purple pink range of lip colors it's right up my alley so i'm very excited to try it out in a minute i'm super excited to try these five different products from ipsy obviously i already have makeup on right now so yeah i'm just going to use them to do my makeup all over again <laughs> if you want to watch me test these five products from my may ipsy bag out then let's get into it i'm actually in the middle of filming another video right now about this eyeshadow look but i wanted to keep it really light and simple and i wanted to skip winged liner for it so i thought this would be a good time to try out the pixie by petra endless silky eye pen for the first time. I think I already said this, but I've never used anything by this brand before. So I'm just going to do some light pencil liner. It goes on really smoothly and I'm going to have to agree with the name. It's pretty silky feeling. I mean, it's a basic black eyeliner pencil, but one that I will definitely use. All right, time to try out the blush brush, the cheek chic blush brush i'm not sure how to pronounce the brand name i'm using one of my favorite blush palettes it's actually a bronzer and a blush palette it's the cheek parade benefit cosmetics blush palette i don't know where i was going with that yeah it's the benefit cheek parade beauty and the beat blush kit i got it like years ago and i still have not used it up yet the blushes are really natural looking and very good quality Sometimes I like to be pretty heavy handed with the blush because I just, I just like a lot of blush. Very light, very fluffy. Okay, awesome. Next is this Naked Cosmetics eyeshadow pot. Now, even though this is really shimmery and it is labeled as naturally nude, whatever that color is supposed to mean, I still think that it is going to be too dark for me to test out as a highlighter so I think that I'm just going to try to use it on my eyes as like a shimmery eyeshadow color for my lid. Let's test this out. This is the Naked Cosmetics. Uh, that's all we know about it. <laughs> it doesn't say what it is but it is from Naked Cosmetics and it is shimmery. It definitely works well as like a shimmery pigment but I did have to wet the brush in order for it to show up on my lids. Although once it did show up, it really showed up. I do think that I was right that it would be a little too dark to use as a highlighter on my skin tone, but as a nice shimmery lid eyeshadow color, it works well. I like it. The bad thing with loose pigments like this though is that there's almost always like a lot of fallout. <laughs> so be prepared for that. It is a very pretty like rose gold color. I definitely like it on my lid. I had to move into my bathroom to actually try the pore cleanser out. I had just finished filming another video, so the first few clips are just me taking off my makeup. Then I used the little clay pore cleanser sample to wash my face. It did start off as a clay consistency, but turned more into a foamy kind of texture as I kept washing which was definitely different. It didn't dry out my face at all, which was nice since I do have pretty sensitive skin and usually have to be careful with what cleansers I use anyway. I also felt like it helped remove any leftover makeup I still had on my face too, which was another plus to this pore cleanser. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to try the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Polish Mini that they sent me. What color is this in again? In the shade Claire. Spoiler alert, I'm probably gonna love it because I love Buxom lip products. It's no secret. It smells like cupcakes. 
we're off to a good start. <laughs> oh wow, it's so shimmery. I love that. Yeah, out of all the products in my FC bag, this is definitely the one that I would purchase on my own, even if I hadn't had like a sample slash trial version of it. This is totally a shade that I would gravitate towards anyway. And yeah, I'm honestly like shocked, even though I did take the beauty quiz, I'm honestly shocked that it was so spot on that they would send me <laughs> a buxom lip polish that quickly. Like the very first Ipsy bag, it's a little mini buxom lip polish. Like that's so me. All right, you guys, that was me trying out all of the products that I got in my first Ipsy bag. The lip polish is definitely my favorite product, but everything else was nice too. And I'm excited for next month's bag because I get to do this every single month. <laughs> Which is great news for a makeup addict like myself. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you want me to keep opening up and trying out the different Ipsy products that I get every single month, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done that yet and click the bell notification so you know exactly when I upload new videos. Also, you can follow me on all my social media accounts which will be linked down below in the description box. You can add me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. I've already mentioned this, but this eye look was actually for another video that I just got done filming. And if you wanna check that out, then I will link that right here and put it in the description box down below once it gets posted. I'm also currently wearing the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Foundation and the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in this video and I just got done filming reviews for both of those products as well which I will also link below if you want to check those out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!